Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create something like this in HitFilm Express. All right, let's get started. Create a new template. I'll choose 1080p Full HD at 60 frames per second. And I'll click on Start Compositing. Let's uh, change the duration of our composite shot. Click on this cog icon right here. And in the duration, change it to 4 seconds and then click on OK. Let's create a new background. So we're going to create a new plane and uh, name it BG. This is going to be our background. I set the color to black and then change the value to 50 and then click on OK. Let's create a new text layer. Again, new layer and then click on text. Width, I'll keep it at 600 and the height at 300. So I'm going to click on OK. Now with the text tool selected, you can just type in your text. I'm going to type in hit film. Hit control A to select uh, the text. And in the text pro panel property, you can uh, change the font. I'm going to use continuum light right there. I'm going to increase the size to about 120. Okay, let's rename this to text underscore hit film and now I'm going to create another text layer so click on a new layer and then click on new uh, click on text with the same text properties I'm going to click on OK again select the text tool and type in your text this time I'm going to type in express again I rename this to text underscore express just for the sake of organization now right now our text is overlapping each other now I'm gonna use the selection tool and move the text uh, this one to the right and this hit film text to the left I'm gonna bring it down a bit and I'm just gonna make sure that they are aligning uh, properly I think it's not in the middle yet so I'm gonna keep it at my negative 90 and for our hit film text as well I'm gonna keep it at negative 90 okay now it's looking fine I'm just eyeballing this may not be perfect but uh, you can just move ahead now the next step is to create a new layer create a new plane I'm gonna name it matte and the hit film this is going to mask our hit film text so for this I'll choose a blue color and then uh, click on OK I'm gonna go to the controls panel right here expand the transform section and I'll decrease the opacity to around about 50% or so and I'm on this this blue box to cover the hit film text only so I'm gonna drag it to the left side and I'm just gonna make sure that it covers your hit film text now let's animate our text so go to text underscore hit film expand it and you have this position keyframe let's move your playhead to about uh, 1 minute and 1 1.30 seconds create a keyframe there and let's move your play then move your playhead to the first frame and uh, move this text to the right side or maybe away from your this blue shape just like that so right now we have something like this I'm gonna uh, toggle the visibility of our other text which is the hit text underscore express so I'm just click on this eyeball to hide it now in the effects tab search for set matte and you'll have the set matte layer only effect I'm gonna drop this on top of our text underscore hit film now on the left side you have the set matte option expanded and uh, let's set the source layer to matte hit film set the matte source as alpha and uh, set the blend to subtract then in the invert just 
make sure that you click on this checkbox and uh, this is how your animation looks like I'm gonna do the same thing with my other text as well so let's create a new layer new, uh, create a new plane I'm gonna name it Matt Express for this I'll choose a different color and then click on OK so I'm gonna unhide my text express layer I'm gonna bring down the opacity of matte express so that I can see the express text so I'm gonna move this to the left just make sure that you cover your express text and uh, then you can animate your text underscore express just go to position move your playhead to about 1.30 second create a keyframe there move your playhead to the first frame of a video and drag this text to the left just like that so this is what we have created so far we need to also apply a set mat effect onto our express text so I'm gonna drag this on top of my text underscore express and in the set mat I'm gonna expand it set it to set the source layer to matte express change the blend to subtract make sure that you click on this invert checkbox right here and this is what we have created so far I'm gonna toggle the visibility of matte express and matte hit film off and this is how it looks so far so we're gonna now we are going to make our animation look a bit professional again we'll highlight both of these keyframes and then convert them to manual bezier so i'm going to do this on my text express layer first go to value graph and i'm gonna select the second keyframe I'm gonna move its handle to the extreme left so basically what I want is I want my animation to start real fast and then decelerate once uh, decelerate as it reaches the end so that is basically what I want to achieve so I'm gonna do the same thing with my text underscore hit film highlight both of these keyframes convert it to manual bezier and then click on value graph this is the keyframe the uh, second keyframe I'm gonna move it to the drag it to the left just like that and uh, then uh, I can just preview this this is how our animation looks so as you can see that it starts real fast and then eases out at the end you can even change the speed of the animation so I'm just gonna move my playhead at two second and I'm gonna drag this keyframe to that position I'm gonna do the similar thing to my other text as well now if I can just play this it's looking pretty good all right let's create a new layer create a new plane I'm gonna name it line line let's do it hit film and uh, for this I'll choose a uh, red let's choose a different color maybe like pink color and I'm gonna cl click on OK and click on OK again again go to the transform and decrease the opacity just to see the text I'm gonna select the rectangular mask and I'll just create a simple uh, rectangle like this and then I'm gonna increase the opacity to 100 and this is our underline now I'm gonna change its position I'm gonna bring it down a bit 
just to put some space in between the text and the line um, set it to minus 20 now let's duplicate it I'm gonna uh, name it let's first uh, transform it with the position and uh, drag it to the right just like that and as you can see that it's not fitting in properly so we can scale this up a bit so right here in the scale property just click on this icon and then we can scale it without constraining the proportions so now I can scale it and then reposition it Okay, I'm gonna name it, rename it to hit line express. So right now, if I can, I'll play this animation for you guys. This is how it looks like right now. Select the line under line hit film layer, and uh, let's parent it to uh, text hit film. So line hit film parent it to text hit film line express parent it to text express now we have something like this so right now as you can see that the mask is only applied on our text and not on our uh, line so we have to fix that and to do that it's pretty simple Expand the text underscore express and we have to copy its effect which is set mat right now. We will copy it text underscore express and paste it on line underscore express. I'll go to text underscore hit film and copy its set mat. I'm gonna paste it on line underscore hit film. And now this is how our animation will look like as you can see that the mask is also applied on our line as well so I'll just play this now one more thing you can do is select the text tool and uh, just select the first letter of your text go to the text properties and uh, I'm gonna change it to continuum medium and uh, for the color, I'll use the color of this line that we created. I'm gonna do the same thing with my other text. So I highlight the first letter. I'm gonna change the font to a different weight. So for this, it's continue medium and uh, give it a different color. Now we have something like this. Okay, now we have created our animation. This is our opening animation. Now we need to create our closing animation as well. And uh, to do that, let's highlight everything and right click and click on make composite shot. I'm gonna name it text. Go to the media and uh, from in the bottom, go to editor uh, panel or the editor timeline. Just drag this text composite shot on your editor timeline. I'm gonna copy it, hit control C to copy it, and then control V to paste it. Let's zoom in a bit and uh, then let's make sure that our second clip is right next to our first clip. In the effects tab, search for time reverse. I'm gonna type in REV, you will have this time reverse. Just drag it on top of our second clip. And uh, I'm gonna play this animation for you. And this is what we have created the opening animation and now the closing animation. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like and uh, do subscribe to this channel because I'll be uploading more of these motion graphics tutorials so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye